Today I fucked up by eating half a colony of ants. Before anyone goes ahead and calls me a dumbass at least know that this entire situation happened in the dark. Yesterday night I found myself a bag of plain corn chips and thought I'd help myself to them, they were pretty good. Didn't get to finish them so I wrapped them up and put them in my little munchy drawer all snug and safe. Keep in mind I've never had ants in my room before as I keep it clean to a pretty good standard. Only water etc no sugary drinks left about and such. This room was spotless except that small bag of chips. Tonight, just about 2 hours ago I jump in bed and load up Netflix and continue to watch Peaky Blinders, absolutely amazing show, season 3 finale BTW, and think, why not finish the chips, I grab the packet and leave it on my lap in the darkness. Little did I know that this bag was absolutely packed with ants. Like I mean packed. More ants than ships type shit you know. I start munching away mistaking the ants for salt or something I'd cow I didn't pick up on them earlier but I was very suspicious of my fingers smelling weird. Apparently a percent of the human population can't smell ants. I'm not sure the ratio but I can definitely smell them. They stained my fingers and the chips were smelling and tasting funny. Like they were expired which they most definitely weren't. Fast forward maybe 40 minutes and I'm starting to feel sick and I get bitten on my neck. WTF was that. I turn on the light and that's where the shock horror hit and I see them all running across my bed sheets, in my pillows, on my clothes and then I looked into the bag and almost threw up. Immediately ran to the bathroom and just aggressively washed my mouth out. I feel sick and have that anxious feeling of small movements on my skin. Did some research, eating hundreds of ants won't kill me but my scared memory might. Too long didn't read, grabbed a chip packet full of ants and ate at them for 40 odd minutes in the darkness while watching Peaky Blinders on Netflix. Similarly when I was a young child, I was at my great grandparents house when Nanny made me a bowl of ice cream, poured some chocolate syrup over it and began to eat. After maybe half the bowl was gone I noticed the chocolate syrup was a little crunchy. Upon further examination I saw the chocolate syrup was full of dead ants. Little chocolate chip and CWW. Um. I guess I am part of that percent and never realized there was an ant smell. What does that smell smell like? Smells kind of acidic, it's hard to describe and is its own very unique smell. You can probably do some research on it but yet it's whack and very distinct so I'm surprised I didn't pick up on it earlier. Hindsight 2020 Pat's protein chips, underscore mystery included inside underscore. As a child I'd had my fair share of snacks. Sunday morning mom would bring home groceries and my brother and I would always scramble to the bottom of a fresh cereal pack or cracker jack box to get the toy while littering the kitchen. Boy was mom livid. Underscore but I never experienced getting the prize in the dark because you're that much of a savage to not even care about the free toy. The ants were merely the marketing gods shaking their finger in disappointment at your lack of enthusiasm underscore, folded hands. Geozoos. That's a nightmare. Maybe, take some Pepto, I mean, it is antacid after all smiles and have a long hot shower, bomb your room or put down ant traps. I don't know man, this is total horror for me. I hope you recover shudder. This is horrifying. I would have freaked out too. Sorry you went through that. Yikes. Today I fucked up by walking into the wrong house during an install. To preface this, I work for Geek Squad as a home theater installer. We were doing a pre-wire for a surround sound and I went to grab the tools and everything from our van. The only place to park was between two houses in a sort of narrow cul-de-sac and both houses had a nearly identical architecture. After grabbing all of the tools, I walk back to the home that I thought I had just left. So without knocking, I walk right through the front door that was unlocked and start walking down the stairs to their basement when I realize that none of this looks familiar anymore and it begins to dawn on me that this is not the same house. Suddenly, 
I hear a scream and turn to look and an elderly woman in her 60s is staring at me, completely terrified. The weather is in the 30s so I was wearing a jacket over my geek squad uniform, so all this poor woman saw was a man wearing a heavy jacket and mask, carrying a ladder and hammer, and walking up from her basement. I am obviously at a loss for words as I have never done anything this stupid before. Luckily, she gave me a chance to explain myself, so I regained my composure and told her what had happened and we shared a good laugh about it before I sheepishly left and went back to the right house. Too long didn't read, I left one house to grab tools during an install and walked into the wrong house terrifying the homeowner. After explaining, we shared a good laugh and nothing bad happened. I bet she starts locking that door now. I bet you're right. My wife has low vision. I have a silver four-door car. She was coming back from a quick stop in a little mall, and noticed another silver car, Chevy versus my BMW. That driver was honking his horn at something. With her vision, she thought it was my car, and me being a jerk by honking. She got in that car by mistake and started giving the driver shit, all the while thinking it was me. He screamed in shock, and then so did she. Then laughed her all around. I used to play badminton every Friday afternoon with some guys from work, I was waiting in the rain at my usual place for my friend to pick me up, he drove a brown Volvo so when one pulled up where I was stood I jumped in, saying as I got in glad you're here I was getting soaked only to hear a petrified woman reply who are you? I just stammered sorry wrong car and jumped out, turns out it was her house I was stood outside of, gave my mate something to laugh about when he pulled up a few minutes later. Good thing she didn't have a heart attack. That would have been fun to explain. Absolutely. That would have been awful. I'm just glad she didn't have a gun, seeing as I live in the south. I work as a pet care provider. We have stories about these things. Walked into a home while someone was showering because none of the units were labeled and all the units had the same key, thanks lazy landlords. Client didn't tell us they moved and we walked into people still asleep in their bed. They didn't wake up, we just booked it, and locked up behind us. Welcome to the club of accidental, well-intentioned home invasion. Friends were having a housewarming party, running low on beer, so I did a quick beer run. Got back to their house, and made a quick dash to the bathroom. At the beer on the floor in the hallway as I jumped into the bathroom. Walked out to see two people staring at me. My friends bought the house next door. Wrong house. I heard the deadbolt thunk after I left. Smile. Today I fucked up by stopping a dog from murdering another dog. This happened a few years ago when I worked at a dog daycare. One morning, we were taking in the dogs scheduled for the morning and a previously placid golden retriever hauled ass after a Boston Terrier and picked it up by the neck. It shook the Terrier, which, in terror, evacuated its bowels all over the walls. The owner of the daycare was screaming, he's killing him! Exclamation mark and doing nothing else as the Terrier was shaken like a rag doll and shit flew around the small entry room. I tried grabbing the golden and zips to wheelbarrow him, used brute force to push him, and finally gave up and put my hands on his jaws and pride. In his fear, the terrier gripped onto my middle finger, clamping his jaws tight. It got the golden off of him, but got bit quite badly. I was gushing blood and showed the owner, who called her husband to take me to the ER. I got a tetanus shot and an antibiotic shot. They offered me a day off, but I for some reason felt like I owed them my time and showed up the following day. Around 9am my finger was huge and black and blue and I couldn't bend it. The owner sent me back to the ER, where I was diagnosed with a bad infection. I was sent over to be hospitalized overnight and received two for antibiotics. An the surgeon was on call to amputate my finger the following morning should the infection not get under control. The next day, a few hours before possible amputation, the swelling went down enough for me to be discharged and and I prescribed a fourth antibiotic. My wife and I had a trip planned, and we took it several days later. Little did I know what was to happen next. The antibiotics destroyed my stomach and I shit my pants in multiple locations on our trip. Finally, I drove us back home 
but the action of pushing my left foot down to shift kept making me shit, my wife can't drive my car, even though she is a pilot but that's a different story. It was a long drive and we went straight to the ER where I was given 4 fluids and tested for C. diff. In the ER, a very attractive nurse came into the room and I didn't want to shame myself by running for the bathroom, so, while trying to hold it, I shit myself in front of her instead. My wife thought it was hilarious. I didn't have C. diff and eventually recovered, but realized dog bites are no joke. Too long didn't read, I broke up a dog fight and nearly lost a finger, then shit myself in front of an attractive nurse when the antibiotics wrecked my stomach. You're a hero for saving that dog, never forget that. Hello, nurse. Sup, backslash sticks out chest and sucks in gut subtly backslash. Backslash attempts smoldering duck face backslash. Backslash shits pants backslash. That TL doctor does not do this story justice, thanks for sharing. Hell of an adventure bro. Good that you saved the dog mate. A hell of a story to tell your grandkids, the I shat myself part. This is real, but to open a dog's jaw you out your finger up its butt. I wish I was kidding. But as someone who works in dog behavior and especially terriers this is the safest way. Again I wish it wasn't, it keeps your hands out of their mouths but as what cost ha ha. Damn a finger up the ass will stop damn near anything. Imagine trying to punch a fucker in the face and suddenly feeling a finger up your ass, like hell you're actually going to swing after that.